Welcome to Sculpture Studios, the second of a three-part project here for the Lee Chapel School here in Basildon. You may have seen the last tree that we created for the school entrance, whereby the theme was very much Jungle Book inspired. Here today, we're leaning more towards an enchanted forest for the opposite corner of the reception. It's always tricky creating something here in the studio that needs to fit a very specific space. So, we've taken as many measurements as possible so that we can really tailor this to all of the walls sticking out, the window, the skirtings, the plug sockets, and anything else that may get in the way or affect the orientation of the sculpture. In the same vein as the last project, we've been very much entrusted and had this simply left up to us to design ourselves, and this is both to be a surprise for the staff as well as the children. It's quite often enjoyable making something that doesn't need to be tailored to a blueprint or exact dimensions, and also that the client has the confidence in us to simply let us crack on and create something special for them. The idea behind the entrance room transformation is that the waiting area seating was a bit redundant, and the head teacher wants to give an impression of imagination and curiosity as soon as a child enters the room, not to mention a little treat for the ladies at reception. Blocking out from our usual polystyrene or styrofoam, we're using handheld hot wires and the hot wire table to create the rough shapes and overall form of the tree. This is all being joined together using a polyurethane expanding foam and left to set before it's hand carved using nail and wire brushes and the smaller details like the mushrooms here using stonemason rifflers. Speaking of enchanted forests, there's something magical about waking up to a freshly delivered batch of sticky-backed foil, dropped off by the elves overnight. This foil protects the polystyrene from the polyester resin going over the top. As always, get in contact by dropping us an email if you want a little experience of what using this foil is like. <sighs> Mysterious. It's pretty much an occupational responsibility, or an occupational hazard, to be annoyed or be annoying to someone else here at the studio. Rocky, frankly, annoys everyone, and here we're just annoying Jess with the spectacular zoom of the new 4K camera. As an indoor installation, with staff and students always around, we're using fiberglass with a Class O rated resin for fire regulations. We're going on with a sturdy build up of glass fibre, particularly around the base, where little feet might be kicking into it. 
for the combined reasons of reducing the weight, having less material generally, also for fire regulations, and the fact that we want to install some lighting from the inside, we're hollowing out as much polystyrene as possible. We're going to be adding little windows, as though it's basically a fairy tree house, and lights that will wrap around the top canopy of the branches. To prep the tree for the artwork, we sand the entire surface down and remove any sharp points of glass fibre, and then go over the entire surface with a resin gel coat. For the majority of the artwork, we're going over with car body paints, as these are more hardy than just water-based emulsions. Not that we expect these sculptures to receive a lot of physical traffic or contact, but we want to make sure that these are durable for a long time to come. We increase this durability further by locking all of the finished artwork down with a car body lacquer. Here, yeah. Aye, aye. <laughs> Tell us what's going on. What we're doing is we've got these beautiful fences to see a tree in the corner. <laughs> okay, take two. Take two, hang on. Do you want right. to tell us what you're doing? Yeah, what we've got is these beautiful fences. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's dying no, now. Kale. <laughs> We've got this fantasy tree here. Oh, yeah. Do you want to tell us what you're doing on there? Yeah, what we're doing. Um, oh, Kieran, can you turn the lights on for me, please? Look at this. Be nice. We're putting loads of little butterflies. Got little robins up here. Lights twinkling. Oh, I'll turn on. Ollie the owl for you. Is it on the side? Uh, just on the front. You should be able to click the button. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Got a little bit of Velcro in the bottom of there. He just plants from there and he has a look around. I think that's in there. Here we go. So, yeah, we've got fairies up here. Little fairies. One up the top there. Yeah, where's the other one? Oh, we're over here. Little fairies, so they're really cute. But everything lights up and it looks uh, really pearly. Well, I'm just going to step back so you can see the whole tree in there. Yeah, we'll have a little clear up in a minute as well. Yeah. Finish shots. On site to give us a hand is a familiar face of the Sculpture Studios family. Kieran, uh, I mean Mr. Hines to all of you students out there, has popped in over half term to help get everything installed, ready for the children and staff to get back after the week's break. Remember of course, this is only the second of a three part project for the Lee Chapel reception area, so stay tuned for the next installation. Put it this way, for the last item that's coming in, it's a good thing we've created everything with a solid fire rating, you know what I mean?
Many thanks to Miss Jackson and the helpful staff at the Lee Chapel School. These projects are an absolute pleasure to create for you. We always love hearing what you guys think of our projects and our channel, so please feel free to drop a comment below, and by all means subscribe and give us a follow on social media. A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects and the creation of our videos, we love having you guys on board, and if you'd like to support our family run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.